What was your journey like in the beginning before all of this began? Stuck, majorly stuck. Um, still am, and that's why I chose into this because I'm really stuck with my relationships. Um, but I, we've talked about how our um, relationship with money has changed and how through mentoring with you and through other people in Strongbrook, we've realized that we can be generous. We, are abun we have abundance and we can share that abundance with others. You know, I used to look at people in my family and think that they were the rich ones. And we just had a situation recently where we offered to give money to my brother to help him out. My sister, who I thought was the rich one, um, backed out of it at the last minute because she said she didn't have enough money. And I thought, well, she has more than I do, I thought. And I realized I've been blessed with abundance that I can give. And you know my story with health and how I've been able to help myself that way. Well, some of them don't. Do you mind just briefly sharing? Because I met you and you got some news two days before that three-day empowerment workshop. Yeah. yeah, two days before I came to Conscious Creator a year ago in August, I was diagnosed with amyloidosis, which is, according to the doctors, a rare and incurable blood disease. And the prognosis was eventual death. You know, if I did nothing, my death would probably have been in two years. Um, even now, they keep telling me, you know, these stories that I, they have no idea. It could be in 10 or whatever, but I don't buy into that anymore. Um, when I met you, I was, all I could think of is I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And when I left Conscious Creator, I was declaring I want to live. And I just, that I was a totally different person from that point on. I just told God, I'm going to put my hand in yours, and I don't know what the outcome's going to be, but I want you to know I want to live. And I went on from that point, and I went through um, two rounds of chemotherapy, and then in December of last year, I had a bone marrow transplant. I have to admit, though, I wasn't totally in my power. There was a week there when I had to donate my stem cells, and... Um, it was the day they put the port in, and I saw that as a symbol of I'm not whole anymore. And that week was horrible, but I relied on my husband, and he got me through it. And we had a miracle. Instead of, you know, taking four days to donate one, one million, um, 10 million cells, it took me two days to donate 16 million. And because of that, when I got into the hospital, they were able to give me back 5 million, I mean 10 million instead of 10, um, the 5. And I sailed through that bone marrow transplant. Every day through that process since I met you, I would tell myself, I am healthy, I am whole, I am cured of amyloidosis. When they told me, oh, you're going to have mouth sores, you're going to have infections, everybody comes back to the hospital at least once with a, you know, a terrible infection. And I had no complications. I lost my hair. And I got this beautiful curly hair in return. Um, and the typical nausea, but no complications. And three days after leaving the hospital, they told me my blood counts were completely normal, which is unheard of. And in March, they declared me in complete remission. And they tell me remission. I tell everybody I'm cured. And... <laughs> We went to a support group in June, and I heard all of their horror stories, and it was such a negative downer experience. I told my husband, I can't go back there. The only way I could ever go back there is if I went as a mentor myself and told them what was possible, because I can't get into the negativity anymore. I choose into life, and that's what I've chosen into. Wow.